Jet lag sucks, but it doesn't have to. Jet lag is multifaceted. You're changing time zones. You're on airplanes. You're low oxygen states. You're around people that may not be well and maybe coughing all over you. You have recycled air. Then you're in a new time zone with new times of day and night and your microbiota are all messed up because you know your gut actually it has a circadian rhythm just like the rest of you. So for me, my particular prescriptions jet lag stack as follows. Number one, methylene blue. Methylene blue for jet lag is great because it's going to help support your capacity to make energy, even if there's less oxygen around. On an airplane, you're pressurized to 6,000 feet if you're on a Dreamliner or 8,000 feet under regular circumstances. And 8,000 feet is about 16% oxygen. Sea level is about 21% oxygen. So if you're coming from sea level, you go immediately on an airplane and they close the doors and they start pressurizing the plane, why do you get tired? The main reason you get tired is that you're suddenly hypoxic. <laughs> and so what you don't wanna do is become hypoxic on a plane if you can avoid it, or at least less so. 